Hello everyone, FunshineX here. Welcome back to Crash Landing. Uh, we are in episode 11, version 1.1.2. This is a map pack on the Feed the Beast launcher. And, uh, yeah, by Iskandar. Today, we're going to do some pneumatic craft. And uh, we've been to the city twice. We've got all the components we really need to get going. So let's go ahead and grab what we need. All of this stuff. Uh, a little bit of... Why is that going off the screen? That's weird. Anyway, a little bit of that, and I think that's good. We'll come in here, get some more compressed. Uh, probably need a little bit of gold. That'll come later, though, so maybe I won't get that. I don't know. But anyway, let's, let's just kind of follow the quest book today and see how it guides us along. So the one that we left on one off was putting pressure to work. We've now got all the pressure uh, things for the, the pressure compression chamber, sorry, so we can make this plastic. And uh, so let's go do that. I'm not going to worry about putting it in a nice place, making it pretty right now. I just want to um, build it and get going. Um, I've got some kind of some uh, changes that are going to go on. I'm going to move out of this base and move closer to a city um, so that uh, we can get there to get stuff when we need it quicker. So what I think I'm going to do is build it right here. So it's going to be a 3x3x3 th uh, three by three by three structure. Uh, we're going to need a pressure valve here. We're gonna need some uh, wall or some glass so we can see inside. Maybe would be nice. And then more wall. This stuff it doesn't really matter what way you face it, but I like to face it all the same way just so it looks right. I don't know. <laughs> so we'll do one here, and then looks like we're gonna be a bit short. We can put another glass one here. So we'll need four more. Did I ever build a crafting table here? I did. Sweet. So that should give us the four more that we need. And we can finish this guy off. There we go. It's all done. All right. So this uh, turns into multi-block. Tells you the pressure inside the chamber. If it gets to above five, it's likely going to explode. Uh, so that's good. Uh, now we need to actually give it some pressure. I'm going to go ahead and put our little uh, gauge right here. And that'll adjust itself in a minute and our air compressor there and let's do some tubes hooking it all together shift click there all right so now i've got a little air compressor this gauge will tell us what what we're at uh, we can also check in here what we're at or what here what we're at but this will be an easy little um way to monitor it uh, this thing does get off a redstone signal so we could use uh, either redstone or mfr or anything to kind of watch the redstone signal and turn this guy off if it gets too high um, but I'm not going to worry about for that for now. We're going to be dealing with very low pressures at the beginning. So that's pretty much it. So now we need to get green plastic. Green plastic comes from cactus seeds, which I think I have over here. There we go. Where are they? Burnt plant, potion, lightning, creeper. Did I just say cactus? I meant creeper. I'm not sure what I said, but I meant creeper. Uh, I'll have to go back and see. <laughs> that was pretty... That could have been... A, I don't know. Anyway, uh, creeper plant seeds. And we're going to need a lot of bone meal so we can get more of these. So let's just grab a bunch of our bones. And there we go. Uh, if you've never done nomadic craft seeds before, they kind of act a little strange. So what you do is you just throw them on the ground. You don't right-click. You just throw them somewhere. And they're going to try and plant themselves. They'll find a farmland or a grass block and plant themselves. Now all we have to do is grow them. If we grow them too far, they're going to blow up because they're a creeper seed, right? So just bone mill it twice with right click and then left click to break it. And you can see two seeds went and they kind of planted themselves. So one, two, break. One, two, break. And if you grab them from the door, you can just throw them back down. You can see I'm slowly... Oops, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> Don't misclick on the grass. All right, so that's 10, 11, 12. That should be... Well, let's get a few more. Go ahead and through this little half stack of bone meal real quick. Come on, plant. Where'd you go? <laughs> this one does so many like uh, little particle effects. Hard to see where it actually planted itself. All right, that's good. Twenty's good. Always uh, 
save one, right? We don't want to use all of them. So I'm going to come put one back in here. All right, and let's look at the recipe for these plant seeds. Basically, uh, we can turn them directly into cactus green. That's probably where I got the word cactus from. Creeper plant to cactus. Anyway, we could do that. Or we can put them in the pressure chamber. At half a bar of, of pressure, they will turn into plastic. So that's what we need to do. Uh, we're going to need something to put in that air compressor. So let's go grab a few pieces of charcoal. And I think we're good. How's our water doing? Halfway. Food's okay. Good. All right. So one of the things about this thing is we don't, at the moment anyway, have a way to put these seeds inside. So really the only thing you can do at, at this point in the game is break the thing. All right. Then we're going to throw all of our seeds in there. And then we're going to build this thing back up. Uh, oops, where's my little... There we go. And now it's good, and you can see that there's now a recipe in there. It knows that the things inside need half a bar. And we'll just throw a piece of charcoal in there. That should be enough. Every time we break this thing, it's going to lose pretty much all of its pressure. So no, no point in putting a ton of charcoal in there to build the pressure way high. Just put your stuff in, then put the turn the compressor on. All right, so now we just kind of wait and watch as the pressure builds up. I think I'm going to go build another air compressor just so it, we can get going a little bit faster. Oops, I could have built it out here. All right, uh, where are you? I could just do uses on there. It's in one of these. There we are. Oh, I need a furnace. Let's go get some cobble. I'm going to need some cobble to get on top of that thing anyway, so... Let's do that, make a furnace, and, oops, nope, use, there we go. Alright, there's our second air compressor. Let's put this guy right here, sure. Now it's going to move a lot faster. Alright, you can see it's already starting to put things in, to turn things into plastic. Cool. Well, that was it. So we're gonna we just put in that you can see the charcoal we put in there is about to go to waste. But let's uh, clear out some space here. Break this and try and get it back together as fast as we can. Save a little bit of pressure, maybe. All right, there we go. Did we save any? Not really. <laughs> All right, but we got 19 pieces of plastic. So now we can go ahead and complete this reward, and we can have a choice. We get the servos, so that's good. But we had a choice of squid plant seeds. Uh, machine upgrades speed or plastic. Well, plastic's silly because we can just make more really easily. So I'm between these two. Squid plants um, are important because their plastic is used in um, certain things. Let's look at the recipes here. So you can see the blue or whatever this this is lightning plants are used in capacitors and black is used in transistors. And we need both of those. So black's pretty important, and the only way to get a squid outside of that would be to build a big tank of water and hope one spawned in there. And then when we killed him, he has a chance to drop squid seeds. So that's kind of that's kind of tricky, uh, kind of luck, and could take a while. Uh, the other thing was that speed upgrade. And if we look at the speed upgrade, it takes lapis. Mm, we could get that pretty easily just by sieving. Uh, but potion of swiftness. We need sugar, we need nether wart, which we don't have either right now. And uh, what was the other part? A cake, which is wheat, which we don't have, more sugar, and milk. So we don't have really anything <laughs> at all to make these speed upgrades, and they're quite important. Um, they just make it go a lot faster. So I'm thinking maybe we go for those speed upgrades and then just build a squid spawning tank somewhere. And hopefully we spawn some squids. Uh, I'm sleeping through the night at the moment because I don't want to spawn any mobs. Looks like we've got a few, but not very many. Oh, we got quite a few spiders, actually. Wonderful. Okay, so let, yeah, let's go ahead and get the speed ones. Two speed. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get those. And we can actually put them in this machine here. I mean, you can take them out and move them around just like you can IC2. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll put both both of them in there for now. That just basically means the um, it will convert the items faster, which that doesn't make, matter much. 
Uh, this guy has an upgrades. It says uh, speed upgrade, produce more compressed air per tick, expensive efficiency. Okay, so it kind of burns through your charcoal faster. This one, speed upgrade, what does it do? Oh, nothing. Okay, fine. <laughs> we'll need them later, I promise. <laughs> okay, back to the quest book. Let's see what's next. I've actually got three choices now here. Uh, yeah, da, 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 doesn't matter. Okay. So, losing air. Here's a quest that's going to tell us, well, if you break stuff to get out of um, things out of your pressure chamber, uh, you're losing air. So why not build these handy little interfaces? And I, th I think we should. That would be a great idea. Uh, so we're going to need, if we look at them, um, they call chamber, yep, there we go. They're pretty easy to make. Six compressed iron and a hopper is both easy. Now his new thing is pneumatic cylinder, which takes blue seeds and this cannon barrel. Uh, the cannon barrel takes all this stuff. It's pretty easy to make from what we already have. But let's get this blue plastic. This comes from rain plant seeds. I think I got these. Either a quest reward or something. I don't remember how I got them exactly. But uh, lightning. Oh, I don't have them yet. I just remembered. Because it doesn't rain, there's no way to get them <laughs> with, without crafting them. So what you do is you take a lapis and a grass seed. There we go. And we just combine them. And that'll give us our first rain seed. And now we're going to go grow it the same way we did our creeper seed. So throw it on the ground. Now, I knew I was going to do that. hard when you're right clicking and left clicking. <laughs> All right, so we need at least 12 plus an extra. So I'll just go through this whole stack again. All right, there we go. What do we get? Nope. Give me that seed. 17. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and throw one of them in here just to save it. And throw the others in our chamber. Again, we got to break it really quick to get stuff out of there. Alright, and there she goes. Only need half a bar again for this recipe. And we need to maybe put a piece of charcoal in there. Yeah, let's do it quick. I got so much charcoal <laughs> coming out of that tree, or, you know, my jungle trees, that really not a problem. Don't mind wasting a little bit. I prefer speed over efficiency. Which is weird, because normally I'm totally not that way. I hate wasting stuff in this game. <laughs> All right, should get our blue plastic. Come on. Are you there yet? There we go. Blue plastic, and bam, bam, one more. Looks like she's done. Okay, cool. And there we go. 16 blue plastic. Let's make those uh, things. So first we need um, these cannons, which take the safety valves, which take these guys, two of those. Oh, I need some levers. Let's use uh, these ones. Sticks, cobble, there we go. Two of them, two of them, and two of them. Now can we build this? No, we need a hopper. I've got the chest, I just need the aluminum. I use aluminum over iron for my hoppers. Just makes sense. Alright, now we should get those. Alright, so these are a little bit tricky to place. Um, we can read a book and it tells us uh, place an interface from the outside in will make an input 
and opposite will make an output. So let's do that. I need to get up on top. Where did that torch go? I need to put it back down. Okay, so from the top we're doing an input, so we'll go ahead and break this guy and make this the input. And then from here, I think right here we'll do the output. So I've got to go inside and face out to make this an output. Okay, so put it there, and I guess I'll have to well, I can dig underneath. Put uh, these guys back. There we go. No. There. There we go. Perfect. All right. So now I can still access this and see what's inside, but then I can come over here and I can extract things, or I can come on top and put things in. Awesome. Um, you can't just drag things here. It won't let you just put them in the inputs. You actually have to have a way to take them in and out. So I'm going to go ahead and put a chest yeah, right here on top with a atom duct. And since it was so nice to give us some servos as our quest reward, might as well use them. That's an output. Oops. And this... There we go. <laughs> Took me a while. Uh, let's see. Redstone ignored. And we can go ahead and put things in there now. Okay, cool. So that's going to put things into the chamber. The chamber we can filter, but that's not really on the import mode. That's really not really useful, I don't think. Uh, we can put our upgrades here. And here's where we're going to put our speed upgrades, because look at this. It says uh, floodgates of the interface will open close faster, meaning I can be transferred quicker. So we'll put both speed upgrades there. I don't know if they can be stacked or like that. I don't really care. And then we need to pull things out. So let's put a chest here. Another item duct. Another servo. And redstone ignored. Now this one's a little more tricky because if we put things in, uh, it'll automatically just start pumping them out. We don't want that. So let's do this. Uh, you can actually drop items here and say, you know, only pump out compressed iron. That's fine. Or you can, if you don't have the item, you can go on this and say, only pump out items that contain this word. That's what usually what I do, because uh, I just type in whatever recipe I'm making, or some part of it, <laughs> and that usually works well. And we can move our speed upgrades from the top down to the bottom when we, when, you know, based on where we're exporting and importing. Okay, so I need to eat some food and get some water, because I am dehydrating and hungry. That's quite a bit. Uh, do I have any more cold water? No, I do not. So let's just use normal. And it's invisible again. I hate that bug. I'm going to get rid of it soon because soon, I'm going to upgrade that to a barrel. And then I think it's time to eat some rice soup. Yeah, I can eat three rice soup. There, there we go. Okay. I'm going to need more bottles. Probably two more after that's done. Where'd you go, bottles? There they are. Okay, back to the quest book. It says we're done with this. We can claim our reward. Uh, we're going to get another servo, some more item ducks, and a reward bag. That's kind of to help you use that, uh, but we already set that up. And our reward bag contains blocks of compressed iron. Wow, nice. <laughs> I'm never going to be short on compressed iron, that's for sure. Wow, that is really cool. Awesome. All right, back up to uh, 37 degrees Celsius. I swear I just changed that to Fahrenheit again, and it didn't go well. <laughs> ah, fun, fun stuff. All right, the next piece of the quest reward, we've got another two choices. Uh, we've got a repeatable quest where every four days we can make this blueprint, uh, which is a PCB blueprint, which is nice. Um, I'm not sure why you would need more than one of those, actually. 
We'll have to figure it out. Anyway, <laughs> um, I guess because every well, there's one taken in every one of these machines we make. Let's look. I gotta go to sleep too. PCB blueprint used in only in the light box. Okay, so I'm not really certain why it's a repeatable quest because I'm probably not gonna make more than one light box. So, oh well. <laughs> Come on, sleep. I don't want any mobs. There we go. But, um, and then this one, the exposure take to make an empty PCB, you need that light box. Well, technically, we can make the PCB, but we can't make it. Forget what I said. We're going to make one of these. <laughs> we'll do the step one anyway. So an empty PCB takes... Oops. Go away. There we go. Uh, takes some green plastic and some compressed iron in a chamber. Uh, and we get these empty PCBs. I need to save some of this um, for... I need to look at these recipes. These uh, these recipes don't show up in any eye for some reason when you just hit U, but the green is very valuable for something. I can't remember what. Let me look really quick. There we go. So, obviously to make the PCB, you need one, but then to make this etching acid bucket, I need two more. And I need two of those buckets, so I'm going to save four of these. And that looks like it. So, let's save... Let's actually save five just in case there's one more thing I need it. And we'll use the 14 and start getting some PCBs because we'll need a bunch of these. So we put the 14 in there and put it just as much. Oops. That started at 64, right? So I need seven more. Yeah. I don't know if there's a limit of how much stuff can fit in there. Apparently there is because this is now backed up. Why aren't you going in? Hmm. Probably because there's no pressure in the system, maybe? We need to give it a little kickstart. Yeah, let's give it a little kickstart and see if that, that works. I think since we just kind of rebuilt the machine, it doesn't really know that it can import in there yet until you start giving it just a little bit of pressure. So we'll put one coal in each of these, or charcoal, and see if that works. Is it putting them in yet? Okay guys, I'm back. Um, I'm not sure. I think it just needs to be a certain pressure to make this thing work. Because the iron uh, just went in as soon as it got to about, I don't know, maybe one bar. Let's see if that happens again when it gets to one bar. If the green plastic will go in. Come on. I don't know, for this rate it might be easier just to throw things in there than use these stupid things. They're good for automation. There it goes. It went in, yeah. So it has to get to one bar, it appears, to, for that little thing to suck it in or something. I don't know. But now we've got to go back to one and a half. These probably aren't going to have enough. Anyway, that was that was strange. I don't, I don't recall reading that anywhere, that those machines had to have a minimum pressure to work. But there you go. Learn something new. Let's give this guy just one more. And... Yeah, it might need another one. Okay, there's another thing called life uh, uh, upgrades. And that makes your items live longer. And that's uh, four lapis, four apples, four gold, and a redstone. I don't think I have enough lapis right now, so can't do that. Uh, but we'll definitely want to get those eventually. So that the items in here won't despawn, basically, after a short period of time. Alright, so this is a more complex recipe. It needs to get up to one and a half bars. And we will go ahead and throw the upgrades on here. Come on. Uh, I want a little more capacity. And security. Yeah, I don't need those. Alright, so we start should getting PCBs here. Look at all those PCBs. Nice. And that's gonna take them out. And that probably dropped the pressure when it did that, didn't it? Oh gosh. <laughs> ah. I think I need to like just manually just type in some weird thing here. Anyway. Okay, I think we got all of them. That's 14. They're not really supposed to stack, so we'll do that. 
There we go. All right, and we can take one out and tell that we made one. Manual detect. There we go. So step two, we need to put it in a light box and make it a little fully charged PCB. We're not going to do that for a while because, as I said before, to get that light box, we need this uh, PCB blueprint. Normally, that takes eight emeralds, and I don't have eight emeralds. So we're going to use the quest to make us one. And that'll make it a lot easier, because now we only need one emerald. One plastic. Ah, that's where that extra plastic. I knew I needed to keep one extra than what I said, so submit those two. We'll go get our emerald and get that one along. And then we need to get the etching acid bucket. The acid bucket takes two spider eye, a bucket of water, two plastic, two rotten flesh, and two gunpowder. And we want to do that recipe twice. So let's get two more buckets. Uh, my current bucket is full of pyrothium, so I don't want to empty that out anywhere. So two buckets of water. Might as well grab a little bit more water for my pack while I'm here. There we go. And uh, sleep again. Then we'll go grab that zombie flesh and gunpowder and plastic and everything else we need. All right, so it was two, so we'll take four. Four of this. What else is there? Uh, spider eyes. We need four spider eyes. Uh, do we have that? Did we use all our spider eyes? Any, maybe there were some out here and I just didn't see them. We had two. Okay. Well, need to go kill some spiders. There's one over here. Come here, spider. Come here. Come here. There he comes. Up and over. Come on. What is he? Just regular. No spider eye. Awesome. <laughs> well, it looks like we're only making one bucket of acid for right now. That's fine. Oh, I didn't care. More charcoal. I should just keep a whole stack of it out here for when I need it. Because I'm going to go through it quite a fast. Uh, someone asked, am I going to put um, uh, auto smelt on my lumbering axe? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe I'll have two of them. <laughs> one for just when I need wood and one for when I need charcoal. I do want to have an auto smelt axe, but I'm not sure if I want a lumber axe. That would just be crazy. Okay, so back up in the top. This one we only want to pull out now acid buckets. So we'll put acid there. And up in the top... We'll put our water buckets, our flesh, spider eyes, plastic, and gunpowder. Is that it? Yes. And it needs one bar. Okay, you in there? Oh, go ahead and filter. Allow those things to come in. That's fine. Moving our water bucket in. Sweet. And we're still doing good on pressure, so might as well keep this cooking so we can keep it high. Oops. Thought I put one in there. Alright, so everything in. Looks pretty close. There goes the spider eye. This should craft really quick since we're already at one bucket here. Or one bar. And make an acid bucket. Go! Yay! <laughs> Where's our acid? There it is. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Okay, so we can turn that in now, and we'll get our bucket back. So we didn't lose our bucket. We just lost the acid in it. Uh, but it made it a, a blueprint for us and only cost us one emerald instead of eight. Sweet. All right. So now that blueprint, I think we're getting pretty long. So let's craft this, and we'll come back next time and actually stick something in there. Three redstone lamps, which is easy. Uh, Pressure tube and for it. Yeah, this is really easy. So let's get some glowstone. Hopefully I have enough. Yeah, I need uh, 3 times worse, 12. Get some glowstone, get some redstone. Oops. All right, there's our UV, and I think the UV light box takes pressure. Let's see. Yeah, it does take pressure. 
So let's go ahead and grab it and throw it right here. Uh, is that going to work? I don't think so. <laughs> uh, I thought I could just grab. There it goes. Now it's connected. And that's still connected. Perfect. That's what we wanted. Look at that pressure. Alright, so now we just need to put a PCB in here. And uh, during the daytime, I believe. How do we get it in there? Put it right there. There it goes. And it's going to start taking a little bit of pressure, I guess. And slowly, slowly, that's going to grow from 1 to 100. <laughs> cool. So... We're basically, we're going to have to throw in an acid, right, to make this uh, the, the next line. Um, and right now we're increasing our percent chance that it's going to work. So if we pulled it out now, we could throw it in acid, but there's only a 4% chance it's going to work. It could just get burned in the acid. So by etching it up to 100, we ensure that it's going to work fine in the acid. Uh, that's far as what I've read. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm in a point here I have not done yet. So this is all new to me just based on research uh, that I've done and what people have told me. So something goes wrong, don't blame me. <laughs> uh, but I think we're going to end there, guys, and I'm just going to let this hang out until it gets to 100 or close to it. We'll come back next time and we'll actually make another bucket of acid, which I'll need to go get more spider eyes for. And uh, then we will throw the acid to ground, put one of those in there, and what happens when you put it in the acid? You get an unassembled PCB, which can now be used to make a printed circuit board. And that takes us back to basic survival. End of the beginning, we can get that printed circuit board and move along to the end of the quest lines here. The other thing I want to be working on is making a killing, killing more mobs uh, so I can get this other machine frame. That's pretty important to get real quick if I can. And a sink. Well, I guess I can't get both. Hmm. I guess we get the machine brain. We can make a sync core. What does sync core take? Sync core takes an ender pearl. I got nether quartz. Oh, oh, excuse me. A lot of lapis. So that might not happen until we have an automated system because I've only got four lapis. Lapis comes from. Oops, I meant to hit R on that one. Oh, I can take uh, rain plant seeds and go back to lapis. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I can just turn bone meal into lapis. Okay, we got plenty of that then. I don't need to sieve for a 5% chance. Cool. How do I get nether quartz? Sieving uh, soul sand. 5% chance. Or no, 100% chance. And we get soul sand from. I forget. I think it's it's I know it's putting lava in a barrel and throwing something in the barrel and we'll get there. That's a ways away. Anyway guys, it's been Fungen X4 Crash Landing. If you liked the episode, hit that like button. It really helps my channel grow uh, and gain more viewers on YouTube, allowing me to produce more videos at a quicker rate of speed, and uh that's what you guys all want <laughs> from based on the comments you put in below. And anyway, uh, if you have not subscribed yet, I advise you do. You'll get to see uh, videos as soon as I release them, and it's completely free to do so. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, put them down below. And again, we have big plans coming very soon in the next two or three days, so stay tuned for those. And this has been Funchit X for Crash Landing. Catch you later. Bye.